Hello guys and welcome to another video. In today's video uh, I will be showing you how to change the rear brake drums and uh, cylinders. Yeah, I think cylinders might be in order for a change as well. So we begin here. I've got all my tools already here. So you don't need to look or watch as I'm bringing my tools to the car everything is here and we can begin take this out so don't lose it and let's lift the car so the reason why I'm doing this is because I was going on my way to work blah la 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 <whistles> overtaking and doing my usual stuff you know driving at the speed limits that are allowed on the roads and all of a sudden I see this uh, what do you call that pigeon that that running around brown pigeon pheasant pheasant so there was a dude standing dude uh, pheasant there was a guy standing in the middle of the road and he was mourning I think or try and understand why his friend uh, was uh, on the side of the road and it's not moving <coughs> and uh, I saw him that person standing in the middle of the road when it was too late so I hit the brakes hard because I didn't want to break the front of my uh, you know grill or whatever my car so I hit the brakes hard and then I was sort of uh, braking and then the braking stopped it's like it went it's like I've uh, I've slipped uh, on the on the on some leaves you know some uh, rotten leaves that's what it felt like because one minute I was braking the other minute I was uh, skidding so and uh, literally after that I tried my brakes and they were way too soft if I pump them they work if I press it just go the pedals goes all the way and there's no no breakage whatsoever so I told this my friend and my friend straight away said oh your cylinder gave birth or whatever I don't know how to uh, I don't know how to express it went inside out or whatever yeah so I'm just gonna call it it gave birth so I know what it means and you'll see what it means I think if that's the case or or what else could uh, the pipe could have broken so we're gonna investigate and in the middle of this video I'm gonna get the stuff ordered that I need and we're gonna continue with this video so it's a little bit broken there I can see shock absorbers rear shock absorbers need to be changed by the looks they're sort of old probably okay but today we are here so let's see what seems to be the problem <coughs> oh, you can see there's oil I saw the oil I saw when I parked I saw the oil going from this wheel so that's why I'm starting on this wheel and as you can see where's my pointing stick as you can see there that's what my friend was talking about it gave birth it just and it gave birth because I think it slipped off here so you can see that this shoe needs to be on there like this there, and it's slipped off oh, and you can see there there's a spring I don't think the spring should be here it's all oil sticky 
the spring should be there as you can see on this side so the spring holds the shoe in place so it doesn't wobble and it doesn't slip off this so I think we will need new shoes that's for sure and some some of those clips maybe even while we're here I could probably even order this those as well maybe even those but they, they, they don't look too bad they don't look too bad there's a little ridge on them I can see but I still got another few years so I just probably need to clean this up maybe even paint it just get the rust off boom 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 there's a lot of banging like that and I just get uh, some rust treatment and I'm gonna paint them and they're gonna be okay for another few years okay so I can see what I need to order then hmm Okay, so see you when I've got the parts. Abracadabra. Look at that. What do we have here? I've already got the parts. We just talked about those parts and I've already got them. <sighs> what a coincidence. Okay, so since we've got the parts, I think we can start on trying to fit them. There. Let's put it there, let's see what we've got. We've got some new cylinders and we've got some new shoes. There should be a direct hit. <laughs> hit fit. Should be a direct fit. Okay, so this goes like that. Yes. Okay. It's all pre assembled, really nice. Okay, so let's see what we need to take off to put these on. So, by the looks, we need to remove this one first, maybe? I don't know. Ah, we'll see, we'll see first if we can change this. So, this, I know it's all loose, it's just based on those fixing. And then boom, and then there's like um, a handbrake cable holding to that but I think if we take this one it will be easier to take it off so let's take this one first leaving there we go you can see that it's going okay a bit more bit more those are the segments like this that I should make like a um, video montage <laughs> so you can see quickly through how I'm doing this okay so I can see there's like a nut so we've got something in here that will help with our nuts this one's a bit too big 32 mil is too big 30 mil 
Mmm, perfecto. Okay, so then I need a long arm. Poop, 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 and maybe something a little bit of extension to take it off the car. Like so. Oh. Oh. oh it's going. It's okay, it's going. Oh. It looks brand new because it was protected and shit, I think. Okay. That's a big nut. And the locking nut you can see as well. Put it there. Okay, so now this should... Yes, this should come off. So that's how you change the hub. If you ever change the hub. So now you can see it exposed, it's a bit rusty and a bit oily because this boy has been leaking oil and as soon as I press him he's like you can see there, that's the rubber, it came out too much because it slipped of this thing and the rubber came out and all the oil out of the system that's why I've lost brakes so it literally slipped off because probably this wasn't put on or it fell off then this turned and as soon as I braked hard it just pooped and the oil went And my brakes went. Okay. So. So this is now off. Let's put this here. Put this here. So it's nice and clean, tidy working space. Now, what we need to do next is see if we've got a screw to unscrew this. Another tip before you try and find out how to unscrew or how this is screwed to the back, take the new part you've got there and see for yourself. So it's going to be like this so you can see. It can either be screwed here or here, I don't know. It should be only one screw it needs yeah so I can feel the screw there now so because this is used on another side then you use the other screw I think that's how it works because you only only feeling one screw yeah so this is bait for both sides it's drilled both you know sides so you can use it on the other side they're universal like that, but it only has one screw, fixing screw, that's all it probably needs. So, let's put this in the bag, so it doesn't get dirty. And now, let's try and find out, it's a bit, a bit dirty there. My favorite toothbrush, it's not metal, it's just a toothbrush, so it just, you know, all the all the dust cleans, you know, all the dry dust. It's it's a bit oily, but it's mostly mostly dry. Okay. So now I need to know what type of uh, screw that is, and to do that, I take this thing because my head doesn't fit in there. You go like that. Boop boop. The lightning is on, boom, start filming. And you push your phone in there, boom, like that. Keep it for a while so it focuses. Move it to another place. Hold it for a bit. So you can later watch it. There. 
boom and you should have a pretty good idea of what you need and what kind or what type of uh, bolt that is let's see see so I can see it's a star as I said yes one bolt for one side nipple bolt and the line that goes into the cylinder and this I can see is there's a little bit of uh, rubbish in the back of the bolt so how can we clean it this I need some, something sharper like so a very thin screwdriver let's see yes I think this will do nicely thank you mm -hmm. now a little bit of that now we could try and guess what size is it I'm guessing it's this one no it's a bit loose next one up next one up looks promising yes I think that's that's the one well I think I'll be better off using a head and a wrench to unscrew it because it'll be more stable so it will be the next one up, which is probably there. Yes, yes, I think so. So let's put these back and see whether this will work. Okay, so screw in that, unscrew this way. Okay, it's getting a bit dark. Doesn't. No, I think it doesn't. So which one is it? I think I'll have to maybe even drill it. No, because it went through. It did not stop at all. Looks like we've got a problem. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like we do have a problem. I think it will have to be drilled. Can I take this off? Looks like I can take the whole assembly off. Okay, so yes, there's four bolts one two three four and this should 
come off. Yes, I think so. And then I'll just release this brake brake line. I'll just release this brake line, and then the whole thing should come off, which will expose that bolt, which I don't think is uh, capable of holding the torque wrench inside because it's rusty so I think I'll probably have to drill this out but I'll take I'll probably take this off today we'll see what we need to do let's just double check let us just double check where it breaks whether it'll be possible to take it off okay so Mm. it's very hard to see but I can see there that's the bolt this bolt from the front okay so I should be able so that's the cable the handbrake cable the sensor should stay in this bit and this bit should take should be able to just take it off unscrew so I need to check whether those bolts are alive those four there and they look like they are 17 mil 17 mil 18 mil Ah, this is 17. Oh no, but this, where's this? Uh, there it is. 17. Are they 17? Yes, they are 17. It'd be handy to have an impact wrench but I do not I'm afraid so it's very not stable I think it might be 16 or something let's try others don't want to damage the the heads okay what do we have 17 18 what's this one 15 where's the 16 do we have 16 14 doesn't look like we've got 16 on here 17 18 and 19 okay so but we should have 15 16 yes Yes, they are 16. Okay, so what we need now is a little bit of that. Like so. Ah, I think they're going. Oh, yes. Yes. One is going. is going three is going and four not very clean can't reach him. Okay. Very dirty. 
dirty, dirty bolt. Okay, let's clean it a little bit. Or is it 15? It can't be 15. I've unscrewed two. No, it's not 15, no. It's definitely 16. This is going. I think the bolts need to, will need to be cleaned, but they're going. Yes, yes. Okay, so we can release a little bit of that before we lose the light, and then see whether it wobbles and whether it's getting disconnected as you can see there so those four bolts release the whole thing and now the one the only thing they'll be holding it will be this brake arm here which we will release and then there's just a pipe which I think we need to WD-40 for a bit and maybe leave it overnight leave it overnight for it to sink you know to uh, get into the nuts and cracks so it doesn't break and create more problems I've already got one problem which I'll need to uh, drill that bolt out and let's see if we've got more problems yes we've got more problems because I will need to replace that uh, bolt with uh, something because I haven't actually got a screw with this with the cylinder that well, looks like it's just a standard M6 yes okay so what do we do now do we try and I might try and release see Let's leave it for a bit, for a few minutes, and let's try and release that brake line. <clears throat> See if it releases. If it releases, then I'll take that off, and I'll be able to take it home. And maybe even continue vi my video there. Okay, let's leave it for now. Okay, so I've got a few, because I haven't got the, you know, one of those wrenches the nipple bleeding nipple and I think the bleeding nipple is like six mil or something and I just haven't the smallest one I've got is nine mil yes nine mil then I've got this which is eight mil and a seven we've got a seven let's see if it's seven the light is fading so let's do it like this okay Oops. now we check with the seven there yes 
yes it's seven okay so screw in this unscrew this way let's see if it'll go slowly maybe tap it a little bit yes it is going you can see where is it <coughs> okay so this is unscrewed that's another reason to change bits because they're rusty and they're just falling off okay so let's see whether this will unscrew this is uh, going to be 9 mil No, it's 11 now. Yes. Okay, so let's see slowly if it's going. Yes. Yes. It's going slowly. I don't like that it's spinning my rear brake pipe it shouldn't spin my pipe It's all rotten, I think. The pipe looks okay. That's why I don't like that it spins with the whole pipe. But, can I get away with it? I don't know. Hmm. I might need that pipe. It's going in there I can see there so I might end up buying a new pipe we and I might end up buying the whole you know pipe a bit more pipe and also the bending tool I saw this on eBay and some nipples I think I need to buy them first before I get on with this. This is, I can see, loose. But if I break that, I will need I will need that uh, pipe kit. Yes. So I think this is where we end. This is the <laughs> part one. I need to order some more tools then. See you in the next bit. So I know I said uh, I'm going to have to break that brake line or brake pipe and I'm going to need to get some uh, tool to bend pipes and get some pipe but I just want to try one thing. before I go and order 
a new no oh, I left it too high before I order a new tool I will probably get it at some point but it's just not now it's just to save some time and get this car on the road rather than wait for a tool and some pipes I thought of a another way of taking that pipe that is refusing to be taken off okay so let's quickly uh, it's very hard without that impact wrench mm. once you've tried it you just you see the how pointless your tools are and your hands and like you're wasting time to unscrew this this wheel okay and the wheel is off boom let's put it there now let's take this let's take this off need a hammer How did I the last time? How did I? Um, there has to be a better way. There has to be a better way than this. Ah, let's do it the old, the old good old way. This was 30 mil and it was like this, like this, and like this. Can't remember tightening it so much three days ago. Or, or whatever we are doing this whenever we are doing this okay so take ow unscrew this unscrew this kaboom and then take this off and then take this off <coughs> And now we have an issue as you saw as I'm unscrewing the line is stuck to the screw so to the nipple as such and it's screwing so I might break it while doing so so uh, the brilliant thought that I had is to disconnect the uh, handbrake and turn unscrew this whole thing and screw the opposite way so that way i don't have to screw the you know the line nipple 
that way I can unscrew it like this. See if it works. I don't know. So for that I will probably need to mostly disassemble all of this. I don't know where to start. Hmm. This looks a very strong spring. But there's no way of taking it down. Hmm. Huh. Maybe if I take these off. I don't know. This can go. Let's start with the spring. What else can go? This can go, but I need to take this off first. Hmm. Do you think the screwdriver will help me with this? Oh, I think he will. Okay. Oh, you can see. That's why I've lost my brakes. Breaking for that pheasant. That's why I've lost my brakes. Because this slipped. See, it even damaged, even damaged there, as it slipped, it broke the rubber here, because I was using a lot of force. <laughs> See, poop poop, breaks again. <laughs> Not. Okay, so let's carry on. No distractions, because I'm going to the pool, and I want to know whether I need to order or not. Spring, another spring. Okay, take this bastard off. Like so. How is this fixed? this screwed in by any chance how is this fixed can't see can't see on this Let's look at the new unit because I can't work out how is it fixed. Uh, we haven't got the uni new unit because the bit I'm talking about is this plate. screw that whether it's unscrewable <laughs> it's so rusty and I can't see I maybe need a toothbrush where is my trusty toothbrush So let's get a little bit of, uh, you know what, a 
little bit of light and maybe even record. Focus. Does it look like a nut? Doesn't look like a nut. It is a nut. Is it a nut? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I need to clean it first. So I have finally found out what was holding this in here and it looks like it's just a little bit of rust because I've, what I've done is that you can see like a little, a little, um, uh, what do you call this, uh, little pipey mock pipey thing and so I just, uh, where the cable is, so I banged on this and it became loose and I think I can now take this cable out. <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> uh, uh, there we go. The cable is now out. There. So if you were wondering, this is not screwed. It's just a lot of rust in here. It's just put in because it's on the pressure it's not gonna come out so it doesn't need to be screwed in so today we've learned that cables handbrake cables on A2s are not screwed in there we are lesson learned okay so carry on with our plan I nearly decided to break this pipe but now I can try and do what I think I've set out to do so what I need is 16 head 15 16 which fits there perfectly 15 no 16 okay so 16 Pum 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 pum. And now where? Where is it? Ah, there it is. And screw these. And get on with my plan. You can see one is missing because I took it out. Because I'm not gonna look for new ones. Since I'm here, I'm gonna replace them to new. Titanium ones. <laughs> even lighter and stronger than aluminium okay going going okay one more one more and I get to play out my plan okay poop 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 now this is all loose all we have is a hmm, this is now all loose what we have is a ABS sensor in here which I need to disconnect so let's disconnect the cable where, where is it is there a little bit of light wouldn't hurt you know what I'll get a little bit of light because I can't see what I'm doing boom okay ah 
there. Okay, okay. So I need to press on this. Okay. Let's try. I need to get new new gloves. release and I think I need to go to the toilet because we might have an accident on our hands okay so I worked out if I'll put this in here with my screw and push on with the other it should come off <coughs> there we go see but it's like a treat. It's just that you need to push on this for it to release, see? And sometimes it's all sh uh, shite in here that doesn't allow you to take it off. So you press on this, basically what I did. Press on this to release this and then you push on the plastic on the top bit and it takes off. That's it. Now, we have one thing left, it's that uh, stuck pipe. So now what we do is take 11 and put it on there and mimic the screwing. But we actually gonna be screwing this. So not to break, not to break the pipe. Okay. Boom. So far it's working, I can see. <laughs> Remember, there's always another way. There we go. See? That's where it was stuck. And that's why I couldn't, that's the, the bolt that I couldn't, that I couldn't uh, unscrew. And you can see the nipple there broken. So now I'm going to have to drill this and release the, the cylinder and put it in the bin because I've got new ones. I'm just probably going to give a quick makeover to this plate because it's all rusty as you can see there. To clean all the rust maybe even paint it I don't know are you supposed to paint it inside maybe not I can see this plate is is it put both sides oh yeah it's missing the hole there so it's missing the hole there see that's for the For that uh, handbrake cable. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so now we got a chance of finishing it on time. And this will probably get changed later date. Uh, okay, I'll probably need to take out the ABS sensor to clean it properly and beautifully but I think we're nearly there it's just this this bolt will need to be drilled out and then we can swap those and then we can do the other side <laughs> hopefully the other side will be a bit easier okay so that's it for this part of the video we'll call it part one and we'll see you in part two and now i need to go to the pool and um, put my bollocks in the water and relax because it's holiday time thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye